Six Flags is known for doing a lot of good things and also a lot of bad things. No theme park is perfect, but you're about to find out the number one thing that I would change about each Six Flags park if I was in charge. Starting things off with your favorite Six Flags park, and that would be Six Flags America. Do you want to know how good this park really is? The last major new coaster the park added that wasn't relocated was the Vacoma Flying Coaster Batwing which opened in 2001. So it's safe to say it's time to add a new coaster. And I would look at adding a new B&M dive coaster around the same size as Cliffhanger down at Fiesta Texas. And here's why. This new coaster would become a major factor in drawing in the crowds from the markets of other nearby parks. Because most parks nearby do not offer a dive coaster. I would build a new dive coaster where the Batman Stunt Show Theater is located. I would also really focus on improving the park in general, making sure the overall guest satisfaction levels are on par with other parks while opening the park's newest roller coaster. Six Flags Mexico This is overall one of the best well-rounded parks in the entire Six Flags chain. So finding one major thing to focus on to change is rather difficult. But for the sake of this video, I would go with adding a new Vacoma Launch Coaster. All but two out of the nine coasters that Six Flags Mexico offers are clones. So I would make this a custom designed launch coaster that would be a huge hit for the park. The new ride will be the only launch coaster in the park and the best launch coaster in all of Mexico. Six Flags New England Park improvements galore. And let me guess, you probably expected me to say a new coaster. New England has a wonderful charm about it, but could use some major TLC in my opinion. And here's my list. I would remove the sky towers that have been standing there for years now. Then I would start with the north end and remove the blacktop and add pavers all around Pandemonium. Down at Superman, I would actually get two new Intamin trains, returning the glory to this awesome Intamin mega coaster, Superman. Because let's face it, the ride's current trains are no one's favorite. I would also completely reconfigure the Superman station as you see here. This will help with crowd control and throughput for the ride and get rid of the bottleneck that the current exit offers. Next on my list is remove Goliath and convert that area into a seasonal event plaza and beer gardens. Then I would create a new entrance for Hurricane Harbor as you see here so the walk to the water park wouldn't be so ridiculous. And one last thing, I would debut a new mat racer slide in this area here for Hurricane Harbor. Then after all of this, I would then look at adding the park's next coaster. Low Ronde. This park gets a ton of hate, so I would go all out with park improvements, really cleaning up the place, and would add some new restaurants and tear down and remodel a few of the older restrooms to make way for some nicer ones. I would then focus my attention on the kids area and add four or five new kid rides and clean this area of the park up. The key to this is make the park presentable and enjoyable and that would lead into better guest satisfaction, which means more people upgrading the season passes and more people returning to visit. Then, a few years down the road, I would invest in a new coaster. And here's the thing, if you plop down a $15 million coaster, but the guest satisfaction isn't there, then you're kind of defeating the purpose. Six Flags Great America. Flat rides, flat rides, and then replacing some blacktop with pavers. Great America needs some thrilling flat rides. So I would add a Zamperla Discovery and a new Star Flyer. These two attractions would really enhance the park's skyline even more. And I would also focus on cleaning up the park's kid areas, re-theming them, and adding a few new rides. Frontier City This park is located in a growing city. OKC is an awesome town and features a great basketball team, the Oklahoma City Thunder. So go Thunder! So this means it's time to give this park a major test. And that would be, how would Frontier City respond if they would add a custom designed RMC Raptor coaster? This ride would totally fit in with the whole Frontier theme. It would bring this cute medium sized park a major new coaster since we all know that Diamondback won't be around forever, unfortunately. I have the utmost faith that the park's attendance would take a jump with a coaster like this, as long as it had the right marketing plan to go along with the coaster. Six Flags Great Adventure Don't even get me started with this park. First and foremost, I would remove the dead ends the park offers if possible. I would then focus on improving all aspects of the park. For example, new dining and food offerings, 
New restrooms. Trying to make Green Lantern enjoyable. Oh wait, that's impossible. So that's not going to happen. I would also redo the exits for Superman, Nitro, Batman, and Bizarro since the whole three foot wide ramp as you exit the ride isn't fun to walk down. And then finally, I would add a much needed record breaking water coaster to Hurricane Harbor. Six Flags Over Georgia. Launch coaster, launch coaster, launch coaster. Oh, and make that a non-cloned launch coaster, preferably one from Vacoma or even Intamin. And yes, either can be done with a Six Flags budget. Then I would replace the blacktop and the Gotham City area with nice stone pavers. Six Flags Over Texas. Earlier this year, the park seemed like it was falling apart, but the new GM and his team apparently have done a fantastic job at turning things around. So kudos to everyone involved in turning around the original Six Flags Park. So what I would do is continue this trend. And here's a list of improvements that I would work on. Building a new entrance plaza, add pavers to certain areas of the park, fixing up the parking lot, and finally, tear down the Lone Star Theater to make way for a future coaster. Six Flags Fiesta Texas. Since it gets crazy hot in Texas, I would focus all my improvements for Whitewater Bay. This water park, in my opinion, is underutilized and could benefit from a new entrance as you see here, right off the main entrance of the park, and a new major slide complex or two. I would look to add a new mat racer with a custom layout, and I would also add a new pro slide tornado double wave slide. These two attractions would really help capacity for the water park. I would also give the water park a new name to tie in with the San Antonio area in some way. Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. I feel like this park underachieves all the time. In my opinion, it offers the perfect mix of attractions, roller coasters, and animal exhibits. I would focus on park improvements, guest satisfaction ratings, and making Six Flags Discovery Kingdom not only the best park in Northern Cali, but the best animal attraction too. Discovery Kingdom has so much potential, I wish they would actually use it. Great Escape You have the Great Lodge Indoor Water Park located right across the street. This area is a decent sized vacation spot, so I would make it my goal to make Great Escape a multi-day park really maximizing the lodge and keeping the occupancy rate as close to 100% as I can during the days the park is open. And you're probably wondering how the hell can I make Great Escape a multi-day park? And why would I? And here's how. I would add a new Gerstlauer Infinity Coaster to the park, much like the impressive Fury. And before you say Six Flags doesn't work with Gerstlauer anymore, you have to remember this is how I would change the parks. A coaster like this would be a massive draw and would give the park a major boost in attendance while adding a new ride that would be unique to the area. I would also add a couple more flat rides and some seasonal events. Six Flags St. Louis I think it's pretty obvious that the biggest and best way to change this park is by adding a new major coaster. And let's be honest, we all know that's the truth. So I would convert Boss into an RMC hybrid coaster. I know you probably have already seen that one coming, but it's the most cost effective way to add a potential top 10 new coaster. The Boss's layout offers so much potential for RMC and Six Flags St. Louis to utilize to convert this coaster into the staple attraction the park desperately needs. I would also have SNS build me a 250 foot tall drop tower offering two towers with their new rotating seats. After all, Six Flags St. Louis slogan is the gateway to thrills, so it's time for the park to live up to the slogan. Six Flags Darien Lake This place has everything it needs to be a major player in America's theme park game, but yet Six Flags acts like this park has no potential. So what I would do is hire the best marketing research company around and pull some numbers to see if it's even worth investing into this park. And I honestly know it really is because the slogan, build it and they will come. And I know Buffalo isn't a bustling metropolis, but there's millions of people that live a few hours away from the park. So that means that they might be enticed to stay at the on-site hotel, campground, or in a cabin that Darien Lake offers. So knowing that, I would convert Predator into a hybrid coaster. This would be the most cost effective way to add a new coaster to the park and still have some extra money left over for park improvements and a new thrill ride of some sorts. And now finally, Six Flags Magic Mountain. 
There's honestly so much that I would want to change about this park that I can't fit it in this video. But you don't want to miss my plan on creating a whole new entrance located by Twisted Colossus for both Hurricane Harbor and Six Flags Magic Mountain. So when you're done watching this video, be sure to check out my Six Flags Magic Mountain How I Would Change the Park If I Was in Charge video. And the link to that will be in this video's description. So that is how I would change each Six Flags Park if I was in charge. What would you do to your favorite Six Flags Park if you were in charge? Be sure to let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching and remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.